man, they never told you the story of Roy Benavidez. Quite literally, real life Rambo. You think I'm fucking around? Let me tell you the story of Roy Benavidez. You see, Roy Benavidez, he fought in the Korean War and he fought in the Vietnam War. And we're gonna cover what he did in the Vietnam War because it's too much to cover in one fucking video. So, long story short, our boy Roy Benavidez, right, he's sent over as an advisor to, of the U.S. to Vietnam, right? And he's undercover. He's dressed up in Vietnamese clothing, you know, he's got the hat, he's got everything on. And as he's walking around Vietnam undercover, next thing you know, oh shit, Steps on a fucking landmine, right? Knocks him unconscious. The motherfucker's AFK. And he's lying there. And eventually, these American soldiers, they come strolling by. And they see this fucking body on the ground. They flip him over. And they go, wait a minute. That guy's a Mexican. That's not a Vietnamese guy. And then they look, and he's got dog tags. He's an American GI. They go, holy shit. So they load him up on a helicopter, and they send him back, right? They send him back to the lines. And he ends up, he, he's practically fucking paralyzed. He ends up in a hospital, and the doctor says to him, they say, Roy, you're never going to walk again. And Roy says, want to bet? So for the next six months, Roy, in the middle of the night, would crawl out of his hospital bed, crawl up to the fucking wall, and start doing wall sits. He just start doing walks and get his fucking legs up and go up and running. And 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 about seven months later, he's walking again. So you know what our boy Roy does? He joins the fucking Green Berets. Nowadays we would call those boys the Navy SEALs, right? So now Roy Benavides, he's made it. He, he's walking again. He's in the Green Berets. He's in Vietnam. He's chilling by the hoochies, all the you know HQ. And he's at a church service when he overhears on the radio that there's absolute mayhem going on in the jungle. Twelve of his guys, twelve fellow Green Berets, are pinned down under heavy fucking fire, right? So Roy, he looks over and he sees that the helicopters that are coming back and forth from this fight they're riddled with bullet holes the door gunners are dead it's a fucking nightmare so what does roy do he snaps into fucking gear he grabs a bowie knife and a bag of morphine doesn't even grab a rifle okay and gets on the fucking helicopter and goes take me in so they take his ass in and as the helicopter gets nice and low in the battle zone roy fucking jumps out does a cute little somersault he's got a bowie knife and a bag of morphine and he just starts booking it he's booking it through the fucking jungle. He's running to his boys. He gets shot in the fucking leg, but he's got so much adrenaline he thought it was a thorn bush. Keeps on running. Finally, he gets to the firefight and he notices it's nuts. His boys are dead. Others are wounded. They're, the interpreters are sitting there crying, right? And he looks over and he sees one of his buddies, his buddy Russo. And Russo's got one eye dangling out of his fucking face while he's unloading with his M16. And he's and Russo's like, Roy, what are you doing here, Roy? And Roy's like, hey, Russo, your eye, it's dangling. What the fuck's going on? We got to get you out of here, right? So, so what he does, he starts grabbing bodies. He starts grabbing the wounded and running them back to the helicopter. He does one wounded, back. He grabs an interpreter, back. He gets his buddy Russo, right? He takes him back. And now, Benavidez, he runs back into the firefight. And he notices that his squad leader is dead. Okay? And the squad leader, he's got valuable fucking intel on him. So Roy, he says, not only do I got to get my boy out of here, but I got to get that fucking intel. So he runs over. Remember, he's only got a knife. He runs over, he grabs his buddy's fucking body, hikes it over his shoulder, picks up an AK-47 with the other fucking hand, and starts running back to the helicopter. Whole time, he's fucking laying out shots, one-handed with a fucking AK with his buddy over his shoulder. He gets shot in the fucking stomach, but that don't stop Benavides. He keeps running, but next thing you know, a North Vietnamese grenade blows up right behind him. Boom! He sends our boy flying, he's unconscious again, AFK. When he finally wakes up, he notices, Rus not Russo, he notices his d the dead squad leaders over there. And the helicopter tried to take off and got shot down. So now the helicopter's in a fiery puddle. The pilot's fucking dead. Luckily, five of the guys that were in the helo survived, including our boy Danglii, also known as Russo. So... Benavides, he wakes up from this stupor. He grabs the intel off of his uh, squad leader's body and he just starts running back to the helo. And when he gets back to the helo, he realizes he's like, oh, fuck, man, we got no way out. Here's what we're going to have to do, boys. We're going to have to mount a defense, hold the perimeter until backup gets here. Now, fucking Russo, he's dangling high. He's like, yeah, let's hold the line. There's another one of his buddies named O'Connor, right? And O'Connor's like, let's fucking do it. So they start holding the line. The North Vietnamese are laying down machine gun fire. So what does Russo do? 
He grabs a radio, he calls in a fucking napalm strike. And the jets start coming. The fire starts burning! And the jungle goes up in flames! But for a hot minute, Benavidez, O'Connor, Russo, the rest of them, they think maybe it's over. Maybe it's over. They were wrong. As soon as the napalm lifts and the jets are gone, the machine guns open up again. And they think they're fucked. So what does our boy do? He starts panicking. He starts looking around. He's gunning them down. And then he notices, by the grace of God, it's the cavalry. A fellow helicopter, a friendly helicopter comes in to pick them all up. So, Benavides, he starts grabbing guys and loading them into the helicopter while the helicopter door gunners laying out rounds, providing fire, providing covering fire. So, Benavides, he gets Russo on, dangly eye, he's good. He gets an interpreter on, he's good. He gets another wounded guy on, he's good. And as he goes out running for his last buddy, a, a, a North Vietnamese soldier comes out of nowhere, BAM! Hits him in the face with his fucking rifle. So now Benavides is his hand-to-hand -hand combat, trying to stop this fucking guy. But the Vietnamese soldier's got a bayonet on his AK, and he slices down, and he slices our boy Benavides in the fucking wrist. So now he screams out to his buddy O'Connor. He goes, O'Connor, help me! But O'Connor, he's, he's on so much morphine, just like the rest of them. They're all doped up. So O'Connor, he's trying to line up a shot, but he can't fucking do it. So Benavides goes, oh, fuck this! Pulls out his bowie knife. <laughs> dispatches the Vietnamese soldier. So now he grabs his buddy, he gets him back into the helicopter and Benavides goes, all right, that's it. No, it wasn't. There's one more stupid fucking interpreter sitting out there. So Benavides, he gets shot again. That's like his fifth shot. And he runs out there and he gets the interpreter, throws him on the helicopter. And then and only then does Roy get in that helo. And they take him back to the lines. At this point, his guts are spilling out. He's got shrapnel in the back of his head. He's got bullet wounds everywhere. They think he's fucking dead to the point that when they get him back to base, they put him in a body bag. And as they're zipping it up, the only energy that Roy can muster is a spit. He spits blood into the face of the doctor that's zipping up his bag. And the doctor goes, I think he'll be fine. And he was. I'm sweating from this story. Roy Benavides was so fine that he ended up getting the Medal of Honor. 1981, Ronald Reagan.